Welcome back, anybody I'm still watching to AJ Plays Unity at the Real. Uh, last time, found out that uh, the leader of the Extra Dimensionals is the hero that uh, everyone thought died. But I called that. I called it was going to be him. And then Karara was like, I gotta use Math Real Power. And she made a portal. Uh, to... Oh, yeah, he summoned a giant creature, worm, extra dimensional. Anyways, we went through the portal, leading it through, and let's see what's on the other side. We pass through the lights. The next thing I see takes my breath away. Wait a minute. This is... It didn't even occur to me that we'd be going here. Oh, come on. Fer Fairy can't be that strong, can she? She probably is. The ultimate lolly. I'll manage somehow. There are fewer obstacles here than we there were in space, but if, our arcade if, but if I create too much distance between us, the extra dimensional might attack something else. I've got to keep buzzing around its nose to keep its attention. We're coming to the suburbs. Ah, so the day. More you know what's the what that's the. I try my best to get to a vacant area. I desperately try to find a good place among the suburbs. Uh, I'm a so funny. Hmm. Oh, it's Verdadia. Are you guys communicating? I'm assuming that you guys are going very fast. Way to dump our trouble on them. Wait a second, I need to... Okay, never mind. I've seen how strong Veridati is with my own eyes. But the giant extra dimensional is much more powerful than that monster was. Her face is just like, I know that's gonna be impossible, but uh, can you maybe do it? Probably run out of gas by then. Like Karara said, there's no way I can keep dodging the extra dimensional for half a day. Which means we are royally screwed. Maybe go find one of the giant worms and they'll battle each other. She's not gonna be able to transform into a giant sword, is she? Fair Daddy is taken aback, but then she starts madly shaking her head. Karhari, you're the one who brought it here. Come on, just put yourself in Ayumu's capable hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. No, oh, okay. No, that's my job. I right, take over for me. I interject into Karara and Veridadia's conversation. Frankly, I don't really know what's what they're talking about, but I can tell that there's danger involved. Well, of course. Main course. Main character. Veridadia seems generally impressed with me. Her direct stare makes me feel uneasy. I don't know about that, but I've got the most experience fighting extra dimensionals of us all. Now I just need to get down there. So I guess so I guess I was right that this is just another planet and that we somehow teleport to it. Okay. What? Sure. What is she gonna catch Ayumu? Sure, trust the lolly. Let him go 
I've got no choice but to trust her, I guess. I get up and turn to eye. Open it. I'm getting off. Yeah, here I come, Veridadia. I press the button and the shuttle canopy opens up. The wind blowing in is too strong, even for my ethereal and reinforced body. Ooh! <laughs> uh, jump. I jump out. The shuttle disappears into the distance in the blink of an eye, and that big extra dimensional comes closer. I hear a loud sound. It takes me a moment to recognize it as Veridadia's voice. Over here, Veridadia! Uh, dash life commission point. The wind is frightfully strong, but I'll reach out with my hand, as she told me anyway. Exclamation points! There's a light coming at me from below. It so fast it overtakes even the giant extra dimensional before settling in my hand. I feel the weight of a sword on my arm. I grip its hilt as tightly as I can. That same moment, the wind's resistance recedes. The fatigue I've been feeling up until now disappears in an instant. What? What is this? <laughs> And suddenly we're in Soul Leader. Wow! I hear a voice inside of my head. I intuitively understand that the sword I'm holding is Veridadi herself. Woo. I land on the ground. Despite the height from which I jumped, I'm unhurt. In fact, I feel as if all I did was jump up and down a bit. Exclamation points. The extra dimensional is charging energy in its mouth. It's the same attack it destroyed dozens of ships with before. I don't think I can avoid it. However... Yep. The path I should take to avoid the attack appears in my head. Or my mind. It doesn't really matter. This is a weird experience like any I've had before. My body feels frightening light. frighteningly light, too. It's not even a matter of jumping anymore. I feel that I could fly if I wanted to. Ha! I slash out the extra dimensional as I pass it. The sword cuts through it as though it wasn't there. Wh Whoa, this is amazing. I don't know why, but I know how to use this power, even though I never learned how to do it. Maybe that's because I'm connected with Veridadia right now. Then I should finish this with one stroke. I feel as if I have unlimited power at my fingertips. I jump. No. I fly! Oh! I move. I think you need to calm down. You're kind of on fire. The extra dimensional attacks me even as I bear down on it. Hmm? Along with the voice, an image appears in my mind. Out of my way! I bat the projectiles aside with the sword, even though I don't see them with my own eyes. This is it for you! I'm going to take it out with one attack. I unleash the power with that in my mind. The blade cleaves the enormous extra dimensional cleanly in two. <laughs> Gonna be eating good tonight. Then the next moment. Light pours out from the cut. The unleashed energy is devouring the extra dimensional from the inside out. It hits the ground with a deafening thud. A moment later it disappears in a flood of light. I didn't think it'd be this easy. You're really amazing, Veridadia. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed too. Veridadia, Veridadia is such a straightforward girl. Her praise makes me feel awkward. Kurara, I expect an explanation finally of what this place is. I see a figure running toward me. Quara and the girls have gone out of the shuttle, and Upsilla is with them too. She probably came to see what the commotion was. I'm about to raise my arm to wave at them when... Huh? Suddenly, my body goes numb. I fall onto my face. <laughs> Collapse. Split. What is this? Is this what Veridadia mentioned earlier? I'm still conscious, but my body is completely numb. I can't even move my fingers. Um, 
I can still hear her voice in my head, but I'm too weak to answer. <laughs> the sword leaves my hand. Veridadia returns to her human shape and kneels beside me. She looks on the verge of tears. And now we get to enjoy this CG with another lolly. <clears throat> yes. That sounds rather ominous. It's not even funny in these circumstances. Ugh. I'm the one who borrowed her power, so she shouldn't be apologizing. I want to tell her that, but I can't talk. <laughs> Quickly, I'm gonna use some... Mm, healing. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, I. People talk to me, but I can't respond. Ayumu, I sense Kara and the girls moving away from me. Instead, Yupsilla enters my field of vision. She seems disappointed somehow. <sighs> now, here's a thought. What? I wouldn't know who Yupsilla was if I hadn't done the training. So, would she still be here if... You realize what I have to do now, right? <laughs> maybe, actually, maybe not. Uh, oh. I don't know, maybe I'll do that in my free time. Just to check. Go back all the way to Kid's Meal before I did the training. Oh, no, because then I'm going to have to do all the boss fights without the levels. Ah. Never mind. JK. I lied. ぶん力を使いすぎて大変なのです。見れば分かるのだ。だが、周りの状況を見る限り、力を出しすぎたわけではない。どういうことなのです。うん。つまりはな、あの怪物は、あれだけの力を出さねば倒せなかった。そうであ
No! Why can't he just rest a little bit longer until they get back? Rare Daddy and Yubsilla left me and set me down in a sitting position. Still, I can't believe I'm in a state where I need two small girls to take care of me. Plus, one of them is a princess. I see. I just realized that this is real after all. Kara said she'd explain later, but I don't think she needs to anymore. This place is real, and Kara used her power to take us here. Oh, I beg to differ. I would like a complete explanation. I think she just means it doesn't suit you. No, I would never make fun of a lolly. How ridiculous. Yipsilla glowers, glowers at us. I smile in an attempt to hide what I think, and Veridati is terribly flustered. Then Krar and the others return. Yeah, I don't think I can walk yet, though. I'm actually relieved. I'm glad I didn't let you go through with it. Shouldn't be any different. I mean, I did the cutscene with Karara before I went to training. <laughs> Yumina, shut up. Yumina grins and beckons for her daddy and Yubsela to come to her. Oh, Oh, they're giving us a very inquisitive glance. さあ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> That's jumping the gun a bit. Anyway, there's something I'd like to know. <laughs> First, about Veridati's power. If you can use that power, doesn't that make you a wielder? <笑><笑><笑> Smash marks. That's a ball from the blue. I didn't know it also affected Veridadia. Anxious,しろ。あれほどの力を引き出しても一度だけなら大きな問題はないのだ。ベリダディアの方なら歩むよりもさらに余裕がある。だがそれにも限りがあると知っていてほしいのだ。Until she meets a true wielder, Veridati will probably use her life energy little by little. That thought gives me a nasty feeling. Ayumu 
Well, I'll just take turns. Upsila sounds rather stern. I could tell she was she only has my and Veridadia's well being in mind though. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't want to die either, actually. Veridadia smiles in relief when I say that. It's good we could all just take turns. Right now. ごめんなさいです。私はこの世界で使い手さんと会えるのを待つのです。うん。いいな、いいな。無理なことお願いしようとしちゃって。ごめんね。うん。うん、I Oh, did not mean to click. Yusilla gives us a tense look, but since Yuma is still fooling around with Veridadia, the effect is rather lost. But she pays them no mind. なるほど。人の敵。Upsilla thinks for a moment, then she opens her mouth. So that ED was the same, in other words? だが、城の者も民も怯えている。要は、ミドルスターの王女として今後あれを持ち込むことを許すわけにはいかないのだ。いや、私は十分すぎるほど助けてもらっているさ。ユプシラにも、他のみんなにも。Upsilla seems surprised at Kurara's reply, but the next moment she smiles at me. 何はともあれ、今日のところは解決してめでたいのだ。こちらで休んでいきますか? いや、向こうでも大変な騒ぎになっているだろうから。すぐに帰らねばならない。残念です。では、グヌマヨにもよろしく伝えてくれ。Yeah, Oh, maybe it's just like his first name and last name. That could explain why he's called Mao. By her. He's pretty amazing. I'm really impressed by the extent of his loyalty. I force my body to get up from the ground and stand next to Karara. Are we going back by using her power again? Ah, there I go. Yeah, the thing won't have to be as big, since it's only going to be the ship. We've had Veridadia and Upsilla. But even though we dealt with our crisis, I still feel a little uneasy. We managed to avert disaster this time. But we're going to have to deal with Corrales soon enough, and Corrales is supposed to be a hero, the strongest death real in the galaxy. How could I possibly feel calm? That's... Korra has invoked her power. My body feels light and the scenery around me blurs. And the next moment I saved, because this is the end of this part, because it's been 20 minutes. <sighs> yep. Anyways. See you in the next part. Still didn't get a good explanation, but hopefully we're about to. Who knows. Bye.